Well, we continue to follow that breaking news of barricaded gunmen in a minivan firing shots at police officers on the southwest side. Let's get right to 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville. He is live on the scene with much more. So what have you learned, Aaron? Well, we just got on scene just literally minutes ago. We want to get some uh, pictures to you guys again. Right now we're near Central and Lafayette on the southwest side and behind me about two blocks away is where all of this action is going on. You can see a heavy police presence down there. You can see some of the caution tape. What we know so far is that bailiffs were trying to evict a man, give eviction papers to a man out here. He, for some reason, got extremely angry, started firing some shots. Those bailiffs then called for backup, of course. Detroit police came out here and then more shots were fired right now. I believe they have him contained cornered, so to speak. I know some of the action is taking place uh, by a liquor store out there and you mentioned that uh, minivan, but you can see an extremely large police presence. All of these side streets out here are blocked off as well. So you're going to want to avoid this area. We're standing by hoping that we can uh, get some more word from someone from Detroit police to tell us how this is going right now and we're still trying to figure out if officers fired shots back at him. I know that they had to retreat for safety and I know we're being kept a, a good distance away too for our safety. But once again, you can see where most of the action is. I believe it's to the left side of your screen. And if you go over here, Dave, you can see some of the guys right there. They look like SWAT team members walking around heavily armed, going around blocks here, probably to get a different vantage point. But that's what we've been seeing here for the past 10 minutes since we got on scene. So stay with us, come back to us in a little bit. Hopefully we'll have some more information, but you're going to want to avoid this area. Central and Lafayette is where we are. That's at Wheelock and Lafayette. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. Aaron, real quick question before we let you go. They were trying to evict him from one of those nearby homes and he's now in a van surrounded. Is that what I heard you say? Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. A fluid situation. We don't have all the details. I know he was going to be evicted. They were serving him eviction papers. Whether he was living inside a van or one of the nearby homes out here, we don't know. But I know somehow, some way, he retreated or got to an area where a van is. And I believe some more shots were fired from that area. That's why we're hoping that Detroit police will come talk to us. Obviously, they're very busy right now dealing with this situation. But hopefully, in the next 20 minutes or so, someone will come out here and clear, uh, clear up some of those details we want to know but right now it appears he's in a van or by a van and by a liquor store down there but we're being kept away a safe distance and a volatile situation it appears as well Aaron we will get back to you uh, later in the newscast thank you